Hi everybody! Because this is episode 75, we're going to recap some of our previous episodes and the cars we featured. If you haven't seen one, please find it and watch it at your convenience. If you have a favorite, why not watch it again? Please let us know in the comments what you think about a particular video or what you think about our channel. We'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. As always, please like and share and give us a thumbs up. Robert Grishaw has a really cool 1989 Dodge Dakota and its story falls right in line with what we really want to show all you guys on this channel. A vehicle with a great story and something you won't see every day. Robert has persevered to finish his truck and he's almost there. Just a few more things to do, he says, but I say, they're never finished, are they? He has a lot of fun with his Dakota, taking it to club events or just cruising. A 1968 Chevrolet Camaro is certainly an iconic car, and this one, owned and cared for by Bill Oxford, is a real looker as well as performing quite impressively. During Bill's driving video, he did a pretty cool burnout. Nobody's ever done that before, and we know everybody loves a good burnout. It was so good, in fact, that several feature cars after Bill's Camaro also did a burnout. We decided to use these for the introductions we do for all of our videos. Bill's car was the first time we posted a Sunday car feature video and then followed up on Thursday with a brief history of that feature car from a historical perspective. Greg and Lynn Pepler have owned this Panther Pink 70 Dodge Challenger for many years. Yes, I know that it's currently painted black, but they know the inside story of how this car was equipped when new. Plans are to one day return it to this unusual and desirable hue, but for now, they enjoy attending club functions and just cruising. A great car with an intriguing story, but most importantly, cool people who love and preserve this car make it a must-see feature. A 1973-79 to 79 Ford F-Series pickup truck will always get the attention of our subscribers and viewers, but like all of our future vehicles, this 78 FE has an incredible story and is still wearing its original paint with the original drivetrain fully intact. This one's clocked almost half a million miles and is still running strong. John and Candace Leap came back to do a second feature after their 77 Aspen RT was the star of episode 12. They regularly drive and enjoy both of their special interest vehicles and are great ambassadors for the car hobby. We met Ken Beggs and his better half at the final Metro Center Cruise. They have been actively involved in the Phoenix car scene for many years and Ken's motto is Mopar or no car. This stunning Savoy caught our attention the second we saw it. The photo session was one of the most memorable where we went to a very busy city park. As one female jogger said, Ooh, baby, that is one hot tamale. A Parks and Rec supervisor allowed us onto the grass in front of the lake for some amazing pictures. Ken has many more intriguing Mopars at home, and we'll be the first to give you the scoop on the next finished project. Again, a car that exemplifies what our channel is all about. Before we met Greg Rogers, we posted on the local Dotson Z Club Facebook page that we were looking for a nice car with a great story to feature on our channel. Greg quickly replied and his car was better than the pictures he sent us. The location was perfect for anyone who loves nostalgia. How's a vintage bowling alley first opened in the 1960s as a backdrop for this beautiful Z? I got to go for a very spirited ride with Greg and guess what? Now I want one, preferably a 240Z. Many passers-by also love the car, and it really is beautiful in its overall presentation. A wonderful car that is appreciating in value every day. The Ford Mustang craze is alive and well at Billy Joe's house. This highly but tastefully modified pony car again illustrates how much people love their cars and actually use and enjoy them. Like all of our other features, Billy Joe's 2010 Model GT has an interesting story that goes along with it. Although we do driving videos for each of our cars, this Mustang's pipe sounded particularly good, but you can't really appreciate it since the sound did not come through as well as we'd hoped. Oh well, sometimes small technical glitches rear their ugly heads, but we think bringing you these awesome cars every week is fun for everybody. And our skills with a camera, editing, 
and riding keeps improving. Or at least I hope so. Our next feature car was really fun to photograph in an industrial area of Phoenix one quiet Sunday morning. But let me tell you what the best part about this Challenger is. The owner. Like most loyal Chrysler product owners, for Terry, it's Mopar or no car. He helped me through some difficult times when Tom was hospitalized for a month last August by being a great and supportive friend, and he continues to be. Thanks, Terry. I'll always appreciate that. Terry's our biggest fan for every video, and he enjoys driving and showing his awesome bright green muscle car. He's a great ambassador for the hobby, and his car does a damn impressive burnout, as you'll see in one of our intros we use on a rotating basis. Very few cars have the longevity as the Ford Mustang does. In continuous production for nearly 60 years means that Mustang enthusiasts are from every demographic you can imagine. The owner of this beautifully restored 67 coupe is Eileen Simmons, and she wanted one ever since she graduated from high school. Her dream finally came true, and Eileen was even able to drive it back to her 50th high school class reunion. Eileen proves that it's never too late to enjoy a dream that's finally been fulfilled, even if the dream remained alive for all that time. This car is loved and pampered, yet gets driven quite a bit. Every time we see Eileen at a car gathering, it would be impossible to keep her from grinning. A wonderful lady, car, and story. When I completed the photo shoot and interview with Eileen, her next door neighbor was said to also have had a very special car. Upon further investigation, he sure does. John Mitleider has a 69 Roadrunner that he is justifiably proud of, and he restored the car to what his perfect B-body car would be. That makes the car one of a kind and a perfect for our channel. Like Eileen, John often dreamt about this car before he got it and completed it to his liking. John enjoys the car often, but just can't seem to blend in with traffic while exercising the old muscle car. This one's a looker, and everyone who does look is in for a treat. Join us again next Sunday as we continue to reflect back on all of the terrific owners, their amazing cars, and poignant stories they all have. Be sure to like and share your favorites and view them again or for the very first time. If you've already subscribed, thank you. If not, what are you waiting for? It's easy and it's free and also means you won't ever miss any of our new videos that we post. Tell us in the comments which cars are your favorites and why. Until then, please be safe out there.